I thought it was good. You know, the young guys are uh, are doing a good job of keeping up and learning quick. Uh, Zach played great tonight. Uh, kind of did, did what he does. Is he's a he's a scorer, a good shooter. So uh, he really got going. So we tried to just kind of play through him. And then our bigs, Javale and, uh, and Dwight, did a good job of, of leading us from the back line. If we could zoom out and just looking at these last four games, uh, starting with you individually, what have you been looking for? How do you feel like things are going? And, and where do you want to focus for the final two couple games? Um, just been focused on trying to make the right reads and being aggressive. Uh, really don't think I've been doing that well of a job uh, personally. I know we've been, it's preseason and, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of getting getting back in the swing of things, but I mean, I want to want to be playing better. So uh, hopefully I use these last two games to round in, into form for next Tuesday. Alex, how did the team just kind of process all the turn of events in China? I uh, just took it as, it as it came to us, you know. I mean, nothing much we could do. We, we were over there to play two games and until they told us otherwise, we were going to do our best to play those games. Did it ever get to the point that you were cons or thinking that there might not be a game? I mean, I really didn't know. Uh, nobody really knew. It was kind of up in the air. So we just, like I said, we just rolled with the punches. And whatever they told us is, is what we went with. Alex, 10, 20 minutes from now, where will be the first friendly from China that you'll talk to? Or from where? From China. From China? Yeah. I mean, it was just a fun trip in general. I mean, aside from all the, the outside noise, uh, it was good to just be with the team and, and kind of hang out. You know, there was nobody there uh, but us and, and the people that went on the trip. So it was good to just bond and, and get to hang out with everybody. With such a different team this year, you're eight days away from the opener. What, what do you think this team needs to really accomplish in those eight days? Stay healthy. You know, I mean, this is a this is a team that I mean, we kind of know who our who our main guys are, and we we know who our uh, our complement players are, and we just got to good do a good job of of perfecting our roles within the team and, and staying healthy because I mean end of the year if we have our full lineup that's it's going to be a strong team. Alex can that can some clarity with what the pecking order is and things revolving around LeBron and AD can that help the chemistry come sooner just with, with kind of knowing how it's going to play out on the court? Yeah, maybe but you know it's 82 game season so you know we're not going to have the same lineup every night night in night out guys will get uh, guys will get nicked or, or need to rest or have Whatever, whatever reason won't play. So uh, anybody who's in the lineup is is going to be ready to go. So it's been good to kind of have different different guys in and out, just to uh, kind of like you said, build that chemistry from from whatever lineup it is. Alex, in the, in the time you spent with them, what, what are some of the specific ways you've noticed uh, Anthony makes things easier for you guys as as a team, but also you individually as a player? Yeah, his uh, his length is really, I mean really incredible to, to, to be a, a player on the court and then on the sideline is when you really notice it and you get to notice how much ground he can cover and how much uh, how much area he can take away on the court and then offensively I mean he's such a weapon you know he's you he can handle the ball he can score low post mid-range you can step out three um, so just just that diversity and, and his length really pose problems for uh, other teams his often looks pretty effortless too like he's got a pretty graceful yeah he moves really smooth you know I think that helps obviously he's uh He's a skilled player and worked hard on his game, but he has some natural stuff that obviously nobody, uh, nobody else can really take and, and work on.